process. And even if you lose, in my opinion, that's a, that's a good day and that's a win. Because you know what, man, that's the best thing you can do on the, on the downside, right? Is to follow your process of risk management and you get out. And it's a small manageable loss. Because not everybody's going to make every, every, there's no one's going to make money every single day. I mean, I came pretty fucking close one year, but I still have red days, right? So um, I'm on, holy fuck, gig them. Anyways. Um, <laughs> don't look, don't look now. Don't look at it, bro. Don't yeah. look. <laughs> um, but you know. So that's, that's the thing I want to tell everybody. The, the, the key to trading, guys, it's we will make money. If you wake up every day and you think, oh, fuck, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. You are going to lose. You're going to lose. I wake up every day expecting to make money. No joke. Why would you not expect to make money? Why the fuck am I doing this shit for, right? <laughs> I'm not here to fucking just fuck around and play for fun, right? <laughs> I want to make money too. So every day I wake up, I expect to make money. It's like going to work. Imagine you go to your nine to five job. And some days they don't pay you. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you gonna do? You gotta find another job. <laughs> You're supposed to get paid every day. You go right. Uh, but in trading, as you know, you don't get paid every day because you know you fucking lose. But with trading, if you do it well, in one day you will make your month salary. That'll cover for the other losses, right? Well, so keep so keep at it, guys. Take a look at all the members at MIC. I post a lot of testimonials on our Instagram. So always point them over there, Tosh, to our Instagram. Yeah. No, definitely, guys. I mean, here, let me let me show you on the site, man. Seriously, like, if you guys if you guys have any kind of hiccups or anything that you're like, why would I join MIC? What makes them different? Like, dude, it takes five seconds. Read the te- <laughs> dude. We have so many endless testimonials of members over the years. Like, we can't even count these, dude. Like, literally, like, go to either the MIC, you know, myinvestingclub.com on Instagram. Check out the page on the website, dude. Check it out. See if it's for you. We're not here to push. We're not here to pressure. We're just trying to tell you guys that dude what we have works and here's why and listen to the freaking members man like if you thought like i know all those guys there's some troll out there that's like man they paid those actors well then dude if they were do you realize we would have had to pay about ten thousand different testimonials yeah we we spent about over an hour a day on the average posting all these because we because we're in the chat room all day long and so where we take these testimonials are is from the, the Slack chat room that we have. So yeah, it's, the members itself. Yeah. So, you know, we, 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 we every time I see it, I take it out and it takes a long time to put it curated. How many posts do we have? How, how many testimonials? Yeah. Oh, my God. oh, you know what? I don't even know. Hold on. Let's go back. Um, I didn't even see. Let's see. How many posts is there? I, I have no idea. All the way oh, let's, the- oh, hold on. Let me go to, yeah, let me go to the actual MIC Instagram page. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. Like literally, dude, every single one is a testimonial. Damn, over 2,000. That's crazy. Oh, dude, that's a lot more than I thought. So, oh, we got 90,000 followers. What's up? <laughs> yeah, we're growing, man. So, so that's it. I mean, the best thing to do is to look if the, for the guys that are not in MSC guys. This is pertaining for YouTube guys. You don't hear anybody talking shit about us. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's what we pride ourselves in. People lose, but the reason they're losing is not because of MIC. It's because they are deviating from the process. Every time I lose, I deviate. When I stick to the process, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say what my winning streak is right now, but I don't want to jinx myself. But <laughs> we, we, we've been doing pretty well, knock on wood. Um, that's because, you know what, man? When you're trading well, you take your losses. When you're doing shitty, you, you, your mentality is, I don't give a fuck. What do I have left to lose? I'm going to revenge trade. You never want to have your mentor, your guru, get into that state of mind. And that's how you blow up. Because what you do is you're going to mimic whoever your mentor is. I see all these assholes, these idiots on Twitter pretending to know what they're doing and blowing up members. I mean, dude, if, if you if trading for yourself is very different than teaching someone. So we, we – you. MIC has actually made me a tighter trader. I, I am more risk adverse because I mean, I, I, I can't afford to lose a ton. I can't afford it. <laughs> but at what, what would that say to other members that they can do that too? No, dude, I, I'm screaming at members for not for shorting things like W key, right? I'm screaming. Because Dolph, I've been screaming them every fucking day when it was on the way up. Do not fucking short this. Imagine if I fucking short this and shit and I blow up, what would that you know, sir. So 
Well, because because about the role of an educator is like while you can afford to lose that, we know that dude, maybe half our member bases cannot afford that, and that's our responsibility to play in a manner that is repeatable and safe for you guys, dude. I can't tell you how many times I've altered my own trading over the years because I was like, you know what, dude, this is too gunslinger for members. Like, and I used to get away with a lot of stuff. Now I'm like, no, dude. If I if I if I'm gonna uh, teach it a certain way to keep him safe. I got to follow those rules too. And because subliminally, no matter who you are, you want to follow an educator. You're, it's just a different chair, right? There's no hierarchy at MIC. No one's better than anybody. But we are in a position where while we give advice and we're educated, we don't want you following. But we know there's those guys that still subliminally want to follow, even if they know they shouldn't. So we, we teach in a manner that is repeatable, but it's safe. And you're never, if you do listen to us, in any form of immediate danger. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, um, what's gonna make you successful, guys. One-off p &Ls is not gonna make you successful. Having one nice day is not gonna make you successful because how are you gonna repeat that? It's gonna be pure random luck. Unless you have a scalable, consistent process, a, a structured system, it's like an engine. Imagine if you have a car and your car can only get you to your place one time. It's not a fucking car. It's, you know, <laughs> you know it's, what the fuck, right? It's a one time. Right? So what we develop at MIC is a strategy engine. Okay. So basically what it is, we're teaching you the process. The process is the trading engine. So every day we have, we do the same boring shit. Seriously, dude, I'm really fucking bored of trading. You know, I'm, <laughs> the only thing that's keeping me motivated is the money. To be honest right now at this point, motivation is, it's helping members, but if I'm I'm trade I'm I don't like to trade because of trading, because imagine you train for free. I don't want to go online and play video games. That's why I don't play video games. Video games fake as fuck. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't play an online trading video game. What the fuck am I? What do I get out of it? Right? Yeah, that, that was not that was not part of Phase Clan. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and so I mean I. I used to play a lot of those role game playing games. Spent like a fucking year playing this shit. Level two thousand wizard. I'm still a fucking idiot. You know, I mean, I would, would, I would, I have two billion of gold, but I'm poor in real life. Like, dude, level 99 <laughs> barbarian, but can't pay his apartment rent in real life. Yeah, still a virgin. <laughs> yeah. Still a virgin. <laughs> but uh, so that's why I love trading, guys. Trading is like a video game where you are your own avatar, where you, your own fucking magician or barbarian, yeah, or whatever the hell you want to be, right, guys? And every gold that you accumulate is, is real life gold. And so stick to the process. It is really boring, guys. Process is boring. This is why people lose. People lose because I get so bored and I deviate from the process. You know, when I'm up a lot, it's the most dangerous time because I have cushion. Now I'm just sprinkling money around. I'm walking around like I just got the stimulus money. Right? I'm like, <laughs> just got that stimulus. Let's short WKE. <laughs> my stimulus money just hit. I'm fucking balling out, right? And that's why a lot of people have been going out this week. I see, I see all these guys going out and buying fucking ball service and then they wake up next week they're, they're still poor <laughs> oh, stimmy just hit i'm for 1400 in my only fans accounts <laughs> seriously dude so you know so i'm just telling you guys that we are probably one of the only people out there that's teaching you guys a strategy a process and every day we're talking about process and risk management guys you know so let's bring up that that um two hundred dollars a day thing cost what wait what about Bring up go what? To, go to my Twitter and bring up. Oh, oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, one sec. Because if you, if you look at that, that that's going to change your life, guys. Um, you're going to realize that to make to make good money, you don't need to make a lot of money every day. You just need to make consistent money. The numbers compound, guys. You, you like you have to understand this, dude. The numbers, like it's insane. Look at look at this. Look at this. Screenshot this. Pin this on your trading desk. Pin this on your wall, dude. Yep. I mean, just that, I mean, you, you'd be surprised. I mean, $200 a day, in my opinion, is life-changing money for me, for most people. In addition, we're not talking about quitting your job. Okay, guys, do not fucking quit your job. All right. Quitting your job is the dumbest thing, unless, unless you can replace your income. But I would not recommend that because the reason why a lot of people are doing well, because they have income somewhere else. They, they, are, they are not stressed and pressured to make money every day. They're, they're able to say, I'm not going to take any trades today that's not fit my my niche, right? So they can walk away. But if you have no job and your fucking rent is due next week, you're going to be forcing trades. So to keep your day job, 
supplement your income, make, make an extra $200 a day. That's one scalp, man. One scalp was 200 bucks. That's basically 1,000 shares times 20 cents. That's 200 bucks. Or do that two times. Or do that three times, 50 bucks each, right? Or do it like now and do it 45 times in a day and you walk away with like 80. <laughs> <laughs> and you're done, right? For the year. But, uh, um, so that's what, that's what it is, guys. I mean, he, he, the, the, the blueprint for a $1,000 a day is $100 a day. If you can do 100 bucks a day, you can scale up to 200, then 500, and 1,000 bucks. And then from 1,000 bucks, dude, this guy's the limit. I mean, dude, the process is the process. That's the beauty. What, what, what you're doing right now is very scalable and repeatable, and we've proven it's teachable. Look at all these people in MIC making money, consistent money. I'm not talking about just one-off money, guys. They are self-sufficient, no alerts. What room, what service out there does not alert? That's because they can't teach for shit. I'm not joking, man. We're the ones that can teach. I fucking, I taught most of those guys how to trade, <laughs> but I didn't, but I saved the secret sauce for us. <laughs> now look, uh -oh. look at what, look at what Erwin G just posted. I like being bored. It's not about the money. It's about the process. Trade well and profits follow. Dude, look at this. A full green month so far. That's sick. That's sick. Like, dude, the, the proof is in the pudding, bro. Read the testimonials. You think we paid Great Erwin job, to just Erwin. say that? Great job, Erwin, man. This is, this is what we, I mean, I've never seen this level green in my life until we launched MIC. Because back then, I used to post my PL. No one, no one had a whole month of green days except me. Because everyone didn't know the process. Everyone's using these fucked up Fibonacci bullshit. I'm not joking, dude. Now everyone's using our fucking strategy. <laughs> They're calling it different shit. Well, that, and, and Bell, that's how you know it's repeatable, right? It's like, guys, like, not to harp on this too much, but when you see every other competitor that's never mentioned anything like zombie hour or this now reversal hour or hard stops and then MIC is created and now you hear it in every single organization or enterprise that's ever been invented in trading that you know we're doing something right like let's be honest <laughs> yep <clears throat> but anyways guys so any questions i just want to give you guys a hype like a little motivation because this show works guys this, this is no joke i don't I'm, <laughs> I slept like two hours, three hours a night. I, I came in, I looked at Alex's watch list, I cheated. And you know, I'm fucking, I, I did a great day. Well, shit, now that's all you need to do. Look how detailed it is. <laughs> like, for I mean, real. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I made probably like over two months of salary and two hours of, you know, when I was an engineer. So, I mean, I, I feel guilty as shit. That's why I, don't, I, that's why I show up. Look at my voice, right? I'm, I'm fucked up. My voice all messed up. I didn't you know two days in a row, but I'm, I feel so guilty that, you know, like, you know, the guilt of having a skill that I need to teach you people before, you know, before it ends. Because who knows, man? You wake up one day, they could change the regulations and say no more shorting. There's something stupid like that, right? Or pattern day traders now $100,000 minimum. <laughs> here's, the, here's the best part, though, about Our proprietary training strategies are so unbelievably teachable that, bro, if they took shorting, like, away altogether tomorrow, guess what, guys? We would still excel as much as we I, do. I, we would just long. I, I, I could trade longs. I could trade like, long, flat, up, down. Sideways, don't matter. So they can take away anything they want, bro. We will still be able to educate and excel in our own training. Like, let's yep. be honest. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Any questions? Guys, this is your time. Hey, this is the thing that people are not going to tell you guys. People are going to fucking show up their giant ass PLs and it's like, fuck, man. These guys are pumping shit. They're, they have private positions that they're fucking accumulating all week and then they're posting it to them. I hate that shit, man. I hate that shit. If the SEC is around, call me, give me a call, and I'll help end the industry right now. Dallas <laughs> got SEC on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know all their shit. Uh, we don't do that, and that's why we have a, you know, we don't pump. You don't see me pumping at all. You don't think I could pump and make shit tons of money from low floats like these other motherfuckers? Dude, if, if we, like you guys, we want, we, we want to teach you guys to fish for yourself, guys, and that's that's the secret. If people hate us because we're teaching people how to trade. They are teaching people to make their gurus rich. That's the difference. Well, and, th and that's the other thing, like, I wanted to say really quick in passing is like, dude, I, I really don't like for any of the haters out there, like, I don't think you guys understand how, if we wanted to get rich, how simple it is. Dude, we had 2000. All you have to do is pump. That's it. All, if we wanted to just make this a cash grab, we lower the price to $60 a month. So every Tom, Dick and Harry can get in. And then guess what? We pump our positions, but you see us doing that in three years. Like, but who else is doing there? There's people that are doing that. You see what I'm saying? Make it 40 bucks. And then we pump out alerts to 20,000 members. Dude, <laughs> what do you think would happen if 20,000 members follow up? I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't mind taking their fucking money. 
they're, like, they're, pump, they're pumping the shit that we need to go off like broken stocks. I mean, I'm fucking sitting there waiting to hammer them. We're we're the ones. <laughs> hey, look up A L Y A. <laughs> oh, yesterday was a big one too. Um, what was that? Y A V R. <laughs> the fucking CEO came oh, on. Oh, look! I remember this one, bro. This didn't pop for shit after this initial VWAP run. That was crazy. Like I mean, everyone, everyone's a fucking puffer, dude. I mean, I just make me sick. But you know, oh, this man, the, it went red. Like that's that. This basically like went red. That's crazy. Go look up YVR. Oh, today. Actually, yeah, that, that was that was a good one. That was a good one. That, that was basically the, C, the CEO coming on to Benzinga to pump this shit. And then look. this. Let me show you my chart on it. No, you caught this one, right? I remember you like top tick this one. Fucking disgust. yeah, I, I killed that shit. Alex Alex commented that he threaded the post and he was like, damn, that's some trader porn. I was like, dude, that's a full center fold, man. Watch watch Bow's chart. Damn. <laughs> that's like that's like that's like the first <laughs> issue of Playboy that's ever been released. I, 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 that's my Viagra. But uh you see, this is what happens, man. They pump their shit up and they're selling along the way, but we are smart, we know what's up. And so we, this is what we teach our members. This is this is called. I'll give you a free strategy. This is called buy the rumor, sell the news. So this is getting pumped up for the CEO. So I'm shorting. I'm shorting into the fucking CEO shit. And then sure enough, the CEO opens his mouth, says some stupid shit, and then everyone so it sells. So that's one of the strategies we teach. We have a ton of videos on everything sector plays, guys. If you know how? If you want to know how to trade the end of the NFTs, the cryptos, all that, we have sector play stuff. So all of this, I mean, I've been around for a long time. We see, I've lost a lot of money to learn these strategies, guys. Fuck yeah! Don't don't learn from these fuckers that just became successful this year. Some stupid shit. And, and, and guys, most of these guys, if you ask these guys, are doing well. Do they fucking pump? <laughs> do they post their shit? Do they have a fucking free Discord chat room? Like, it makes me sick. <laughs> yeah, free chat room. There's a secret agenda behind it. Trust me. They're just trying to get eyes to pump. Dude, check this I out. Wanna, so I want to warn you guys because the market is going to get more difficult, in my opinion. Because what happens, I think the feds and stuff, I mean, the market has to top out, right, guys? And so when, that, so when the shit hit the fan, guys, you're going to see who the real traders left. And I guarantee it's not, it's not those guys that have the free room because they'll keep pumping and all the members are going to die. So I want you guys not to die. I want you guys to learn before shit hits the fan. Then you can take advantage because when shit hits the fan, I am going to fucking bank. <laughs> these guys, everything these guys are gonna pump up, I'm gonna fucking slam. But the key is that you have to know the time to short them because if you short them too early, you are going to get your ass killed. And, and guys, what Bao just said, you know, of everything about that, you know, the thing about trading is it's very time based, right? It's knowing when the sector is running out of steam, it's knowing when the chat pump is running out of steam or it's the backside of the move. It's knowing that zombie hour is the hour where you ease off the gas pedal. So much of new traders come in and they don't join something like MIC and they don't learn what time-based trading is when you're on the gas pedal and when you're fucking off it, dude. And that is the most detrimental thing because guys, when I first started, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, seriously, anybody listening in, who, especially who's new, tell me if this is not relatable. But when I first started, I had no idea that there was something like time-based trading. I knew that there was an open, there was a close, and I would hit dips all day or hit pops on short because, hey, let's fucking trade, right? We can do it. It is so easy. That was started 20 years ago where it was like impossible for retail traders to trade. He still found a way. Nowadays, you can do it from phones. You can do it from other, you know, technological advancements. You could trade a TD Ameritrade account from your Apple Watch. It is so accessible these days that you feel I need to trade and you guys have no idea how much edge you do not have in that and what we are able to take advantage of dumb money because you're dumb money. Unless you know the things that we're talking about, you know what a sector run is. You know that the freaking retail traders have the emotion and the sentiment of human emotions and, and the fear factor in the first hour and that dissipates as the day goes on and volume dries up and algorithms get into it. And then you know about things like reversal hour and there's an edge back. If you don't know these things, how the hell do you expect to do it on your own? Literally, like I'm asking you, literally, how do you expect to play with guys like us? So, so this is what we do today, Tosh. Uh, we're gonna help educate. We're not gonna sell anything. Um, Tosh, anybody have questions about stuff? We're gonna answer it today. And then yeah. that, when we run out of time, get Tosh's text and text him a question. Yeah, guys. Figure yeah. out, you know, and then help, you know. 
So that's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to, we're going to save maybe half an hour to do questions and we'll, we'll, we'll end it. Uh, if there's no questions, we'll end it early. But text Tosh uh, any of your trading questions because this is the time, guys. Because watching a bunch of free videos is not going to fucking do it for you guys. You know, if, if you lost more than $200 today or this month, there's no reason you should not be in MIC. Yeah, guys. So like Dow just said, we'll give it about 25, 30 minutes. This is your time to ask questions. If you it, members and non-members, you know, hit us up on YouTube. We'll see those comments as well. Uh, we're here for you. So like, what do you want to talk about today? Seriously. And if you don't have any questions, well, then Dow can just go get some pho early then. <laughs> some pho. Seriously. I feel like I, that little emoji girl that you put at, at lunch with, with at, at your lunches, Bal, I feel like everybody in the world has been trying to figure out who, who that little girl, emo, the, the like girl emoji is for years. <laughs> What's her name, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> Paul Mella. <laughs> What'd you say? Paul Mella. Paul Mella. <laughs> Bal's got a lunch date with Paul Mella if you guys don't have questions. Yeah. <laughs> So many tickers in the morning. How do you narrow it down to three to four? Val, you want to talk about this one? Uh, so many tickers. How do you... So, yeah, there's a ton of them. <laughs> so what you do is this is this is why you wake up early. You you look at that, you research it, and you figure out which one is in your niche. So let's say you know you're a new trader that is learning one particular strategy. Which strategy works best for these tickers? That's it. So you have to understand, first of all, your strategy. If you do not understand, you go to Alex's watch list. Did you show that yet, Tosh? Yep, right here. It's right here. Yep. So the watch list serves twofold. Um, the most important purpose that we started the watch list is not for you guys to copy. Of course, people have been copying that, right? But it's to learn and reverse engineer how we come up with the lines, how we come up with the mindset, the trading plan you know, the thought process. And then you create your own watch list and you can compare. Oh, now, well, why did Alex do this? Why did I do this? So use that as a learning tool in, when you start out. Um, so the guys that are asking, how do I limit, that's like too many tickers, how do I choose three? Well, you're not ready for that answer yet because you have no clue what you're doing if you're asking that. So you start with a watch list and see how Alex picked that. And then you can expand on your own. So you reverse engineer it. So keep doing it, guys. Keep pinging in chat and seeing how the trades are. This is why we post our trading charts. We are, we're one of the communities that are, that are heavy, heavy posters of charts. Everybody else is trying to pump their pee now. We are posting charts so that you can learn. Uh, so the more charts you see, uh, you stick around after hours you ask and then that question will become very relevant because each individual trades different things for me dude i limit myself to 10 you know <laughs> i limit to whatever level two <laughs> i see on my screen um and so we, when you ask it depends man right i'm a fucking short seller my watch list is going to be different than a long bias guy but usually what happens is a watch list it's going to compose of two things. So listen up, guys. This is a big, this is a big freebie here. It's going to compose of two things. Um, a list of new plays for the day. What's the most active stocks for the day? So those, those I look at. And then the new, and then the actives of today become yesterday's, I mean, to, become tomorrow's like low-hanging fruit once they break down. So it's a combination of most actives of the current day as well as what ran yesterday. So the hot chicks today become the sympathy plays for tomorrow. So that's why it's very important to show up to trade every day. Because if I miss three days, four days, and I come back, I have no idea what I'm doing. Because I'm, I'm missing half of my watch list. Because that's why I have to ask and go back to MIC and see what the watch list for the day before is to take a look. Speaking of which, guys, process works. WKE, what did we say about the last 30 minutes? This is probably not a short. Be careful, and I wouldn't attack this. This was after this big stuff move. See, they try to trap you, man. They lure you in, and boom, you're stuck. This, is, you this is the 3, 3 p.m. and 3.30 rule we have. We have these rules for purpose. So during this time, the long bias traders have a huge advantage on stocks that are strong that have shorts that are stuck. Because shorts that are stuck are now scrambling and only have 30 minutes left to cover. Please tell me nobody on this YouTube got stuck in this and didn't take our advice during this webinar. Or took the advice and went long. Yeah, it, absolutely. There's that. 
Um, let's see. Next question. Personally, what saved me a lot of time and eased my way in the, oh, is the accelerator. Oh, nice. Spy trader. Okay. Not a question, but a statement. Dude. So, awesome. So, yeah. We're going to talk about the accelerator. This is a, it's a very important product guys. So don't be cheap out on this. To be honest, I mean, this is, we priced it very cheap, man. You're going to spin your wheels for a year or more. And, uh, and don't know where to go <clears throat> if you're not in MIC, right? Even if you're in MIC, there's a lot of videos to watch. So the way that, the way that we design it is, you know, you watch the seven and a half hour course, the accelerator, which gives you the overview that from no, no knowledge of stocks to being able to trade, put place in your first trade within like eight hours, not necessarily making money, but at least you know the mechanics of doing it and then reasons. And then you drill down further into it. So I would I highly advise. So that's what you hit up Tosh for, hit up Tosh to get the accelerator guys. Cause that's going to help you. Cause to be honest, there's a lot to learn and you don't know where to start. And so that's why we, we, we came up with that. True, man. Then, Finding your identity in the beginning of trading guys is quite the task, like finding your comfort level, finding your identity. But like Bao said, man, it always goes back to one thing, right? Once you have that identity within our process, dude, it's so simple. It's not easy because trading is never easy, right? You're risking money for a living. There's emotions on the line. You're literally like got your heart on the line in a way in every trade, but it gets very simple. And like, once you have your comfort zone, all that, the mindset of a professional trader, like Bao saying, I wake up to expect a paycheck. Obviously it's not going to happen every day, you know, knock on wood. I wish it would, but it's not. Some days a random move is just going to get you. Hopefully you have a hard stop in. If you followed and didn't deviate from your process, you're not even mad because you expect that you can't be right every single part of the time. But dude, if you're right most of the time and you expect it and going with that mindset because you did learn a repeatable pattern, a repeatable strategy process setup, then dude, you're destined to win. But man, when you, when you, you, when your name's terrible, trader and you come in the market with i just feel like i'm gonna fucking lose everything bro you're gonna lose you're gonna lose because you're entering a realm of sharks you're gonna lose you yeah, but you know what we have we have a member named we have a member named terrible trader he's actually a fucking pretty good trader now <laughs> oh my god that's right we do have a oh my god i forgot about it. i haven't seen him post in a long time holy shit but what i mean guys is yeah like even terrible trader is actually a pretty good trader now <laughs> like <laughs> the, the, the point is, is train your mindset to get to a point of comfortability, but you got to find your comfort zone and price action first so that you can show up every day. This is why I always go back to two things. If you are overthinking every day and you don't have a level of trust, trading's going to be very hard for you because one, it takes a certain very simple understanding, getting out of your own level of IQ Einstein genius. Cause you think that's what it takes in second guys. I don't care what size you do. I don't care if it's five shares. I don't care if it's 50,000 shares. And I know traders who do both. You need to trust your lines without trust. It's a very hard game. Yep. I was about to say the same exact thing, guys. The main difference with myself and the newer traders is not because I'm smarter guys. I just have, I just have more experience and with experience, leads into more confidence and trust in my system because I've been doing this for so long. I trust my lines. I trust my process. So yep. newer traders, they don't have that trust. They're scared. And so what happens is they're like, oh, man, I'm going to place this trade here. Oh, no, no, I'm so scared. I'm going to wait and wait. And then they're like, oh, fuck, it would have worked. It would have worked. And, they, and then they chase, right? Because they missed the trade. They're doing a makeup trade because they're like, fuck, I knew, I knew, I knew it. I should have went in, but I'm so stupid. And then they chase and then they lose the second time. So... The thing is, I don't fear the first trade. Fear comes from the unknown. The people are afraid because they're afraid to lose money. Well, I mean, if you put your hard stop in and you predefine your risk and you do the math and you know how much you can lose potentially, why scared? If you're still scared, it means you're sizing too much, size down. If you have to be able to take a little loss, if you are not okay with even taking a dollar loss, I don't know, man. You're gonna you can go into different industry, guys. <laughs> different industry, different. You gotta go be an engineer, dude. dude like, you have you have to be okay with taking a loss, guys. And I'm telling you, taking losses becomes much simpler. It's like a boxer. If a boxer never gets punched in the face during a sparring session, he's gonna get punched in the face during a real live match and then cry. <laughs> well, right? now, to help that analogy, dude, how many boxers get punched in the face and still win the fight? Because they're used to it. They're, they're expected to get punched in the face. I'm expected to take losses during the day. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a knockout. Like, that, that's the point of hard stops. It's just a little punch. 
So when you learn in paper trading and small size, you learn how to take a loss. You learn how to do risk management. You learn how to roll with the punches. And this is how Floyd Mayweather doesn't get knocked out. He gets punched in the face, but he's rolling with the punches. He's putting in his hard stuff, right? Dude, hell yeah. And he's going to get punched in the face by Logan Paul 40 times, and I bet he still wins the round. Like, that's <laughs> the point, dude. Like, yeah. Actually, actually, I may put some money on Logan Paul because I feel the, uh, I feel the like, <laughs> the, the interest on him winning versus Floyd Mayweather will be, like, a much better return. <laughs> dude, come that fight, I may put some money on Mr. Paul. Man. All right, next question. Oh, really quick, Val. You know what? Uh, Ska just reminded me because I wanted to talk about him earlier. Bro, let's talk about JJ for a second. We have an Instagram live with JJ somewhere, guys. We're going to look at that. You guys got to look it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll send you this link if you need it. But it, it, JJ is just the most perfect example of what. It's, it's pretty much every, every, every moderator is pretty much homegrown, guys. Um, almost all the moderators here, uh, you know, has learned something to – you know, by MIC that's made them consistent through the process. And that's why their moderators are teaching the process. And I truly believe in the process because I've taught this MIC process to a lot of people and it worked out very well. Uh, made many several millions of dollars traders. You know, I've done a, I've mentored a ton of them. So, and they went on to now become gurus of their own chat rooms, right? So. <laughs> I am the mentor's mentor. I am your mentor's mentor. <laughs> That's great. Uh, guys, any questions? Last questions. Let's get some questions in. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that, guys. It's not simple. It's, it's simple. It's not easy. The hard part is controlling your emotions and following the having the discipline to follow the process. So GL, when you ask, you're still going through the videos at the moment, but when you say trust the lines, what, do you, what does this mean? Or more speaking about, because that's what he was talking about. What it means is yes, the pivot lines, the support and resistance, whatever fits your process. It's not just that, oh, this specific ticker and it, 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 it's your process. You know what I mean? It's, it's literally like, Val, do you want to, you could probably explain it better than yeah. you. Yeah. When, when I say trust the lines, trust your process. So what I do is I draw my my resistance and support lines, the way that MIC teaches it. We have videos on how to freaking draw them. And then what I do is I place my trades there. <laughs> That's it. What simple as that. Well, I trust them. I'm not, and then what happens when they come out there, I'm not going to be chicken. I'm going to fucking place my order. You know, that, that's what I mean. I trust my process. I trust that. Hey, if that line hits, I make money. If it doesn't hit, I have my heart stopping. I take a stop loss, whatever I need to do. Well, and about it to kind of, you know, piggyback this a little bit. It's like, guys, if you just wing it instead of actually having the reason why Bao, you know, is so consistent or, you know, knock on wood stays so consistent is because of what his process entails and because of his trust. You guys have to understand he's already predefined, pre planned, pre analyzed of what he's willing to go in, what he's willing to risk. So he's not winging it. This, this breeds trust. If you're like, okay, I have a process, but I didn't really plan. I just know that if it pops, I'll get in and it pops a little too more than you're expecting and you kind of wing in your orders and you're like, oh my God, I didn't anticipate the range. I don't know if I'm sized correctly. Guys, you're going to underperform and you're still within your process. You got to pre-plan so that when the line comes, your level of trust is a level 99 barbarian. You don't want to be a level 12 wizard. Like, okay, I mean, I, I mean, this is process and it's popping and I, I know I should get on pop because it's broken. I'm following trend, but oh fuck, I didn't account for XYZ, XYZ. Dude, pre-plan builds. Trust. Exactly. So we always talk about this. We have videos on this, guys. I call it, like, you have to pre-plan, right? Part of the plan process includes, take a look at my trading fish video. I go through the process all the time. You have to know where you're gonna enter. And part of the entry is how many times you're gonna scale in. And you have to know your exits. Your exits oh, yeah. include, includes taking profit and taking loss. Too many people only take profit and don't expect a loss. And that's how they blow up. Too many people only expect to take a loss. So they hold onto a winner way too long. And it turns into a loser. You must know when to take the exit for both a gain and a loss. Otherwise, you're going to get greedy as fuck. And you're going to hold this shit, diamond hands this shit. And now the GME is down to nothing, right? You, they just diamond hand their fucking order. for four, they're, they, they're like pre-spent their millions of dollars. Now they're ready. You have to plan where you can exit. If you plan $300, get out half of 300 Another half at 400 and then, oh shit, I'm holding a quarter left, but it's going down, but I already took my cushion, right? 
and took my money out. Dude, so at hundred at one hundred and twenty five on GME, people just realize it's a moissanite. <laughs> like, <laughs> it ain't a diamond, bro. <laughs> This is not Coca-Cola, man. This is GME. Like, I'm not laughing at people losing money. I'm just laughing at the concept of hold the line, win the war, hold until you're right. Dude, it's crazy. Well, the guys yeah. with the diamond hands got one share, so they can't really scale out. <laughs> yeah, for literally, dude, or Robin Hood might not even let off. <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, another one, PRS Mac. Hey, guys, I've been in MIC for a while now, studied everything for the first four months, and have been live trading for two weeks now. Okay, only two weeks. Cool. So far, I'm about 50-50 win-loss ratio. Any tips on how to improve? I'm trying my best to trust the process and lines, but I think still struggling more picking the best ticker for me because I'm seeing like three to four to five in chat. Correct. So this is, this is part of the process, right? So the first thing you do is you, this is my study tip, study, 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 and then paper trade for a little bit. Then do small, small size real life trading. Do not fucking expect to make money trading right away, guys. Use small size. And by using small size, it's going to help you answer the questions that you just posed. Because you don't know what the hell you're doing yet. But you have enough knowledge to actually make money. But you know what, man? You're not a pro yet. So use small size to learn. And then when you become more consistent, you can increase your size. Um, you don't know what tickers to pick. Well, who does? Who the hell knows what th ticker is going to make you successful? Because I don't know your trading process. I don't know your strategy. I have a hundred strategies and processes, right? But you may only be picking the long uh, first bounce or only a short death line or whatever you need to do. So you, we don't know what, what stocks are good for you because I don't know what strategy you're using. So get on a call with one of the moderators and tell them what strategy you're using. And then they can help you figure out what stock best fits your niche, right? You have to figure out what is your strategy first. If you don't have a strategy, how the hell do you know what stocks to pick? You just randomly picking shit. Well, well, and this and this comes back now to the the general misconception that hey, Tosh, there's that one line. Which line is it, and how hard do you hit? Okay, so he's, so, he's doing, so he's doing the low hanging fruit. That's good. So go yeah. to Alex's. So go to Alex's watch list. Okay, go to Alice's watch this, take a look and see which one you like best. And, Dude. That, and then you'll figure out what, what you're doing wrong or right. And then try to make your own watch list and see if it matches Alice. Try to draw your own lines and see if it matches Alex. So don't just look at Alex's thing and copy him. Figure out why and, and then you can start your own process and start becoming self-sufficient. Yeah, guys. So start tracking, start tracking, guys. So, so when you start out, man, paper trade the watch list. See if you can paper trade the watch list and see how it works. And then move into live trading. Don't paper trade too long, man, because you, you're going to get stuck in paper trading forever. Because um, I'll paper trade for one month, one month, and then go to live trading with tiny size, like 100 shares, 50 shares, whatever you want, right? 10 shares, whatever size you want, but do tiny shares. Exactly. Like the goal is not to fucking pay your rent. The goal is to learn the process and then you can size up. So the cost of tuition, man, you may lose a hundred dollars in the first month, two hundred bucks, you know, just in commission. But shit, that's part of education, guys. Dude, absolutely, man. Fifty-fifty. If you're fifty-fifty, you can still be profitable, man. You don't have to be hundred percent, guys. Remember, because you're you're letting your winners run and you're cutting your uh, losers. So you can have a fifty-fifty win rate, so you're fucking rich. Dude, I love it. Win rate is too, it's kind of meaningless if I don't know what your 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 profit factor is, right? Guys, any closing questions? We got a little bit of time left. Ten more minutes. Closing questions. The low hanging fruit, in my opinion, is low hanging fruit is what I always go back to when I'm struggling. That's the most consistent strategy for a short seller. Oh, now that makes sense. No, this makes total sense. GME is taking down the overall markets. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Spy is going down. Diamond hands have been going down. Oh, Thanks, shit. 122? Jesus. I know. Thanks, Bal. Appreciate the advice. That's what I'll do from now on. Paper traded for two weeks at the start of the month and had good success with it. But just uh, since I've went live, it's been a little harder. It's always going to be harder when you got real money on the line, man. It doesn't because matter. You, and also because you're not feeling you're not, gonna, you're not gonna get the perfect fill like you do paper trading. Exactly. Yeah, so dude, paper trading will literally give you perfect fills. You guys have to know that. 
So you always top tick as we just do it. <laughs> always top tick. <laughs> You have max size. <laughs> Dude, you can you market order and freaking paper trade and top tick everything. There's there's no halts either. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You can get out during halts. Oh shit. Yep. Probably. So keep at it, guys. Remember risk management. So with a 50-50 win rate, you will be profitable because you stop out at the right time and you're letting your winners run more than you know the the stops. So Cool, guys. We'll see you back in the room. My voice is dead. Yep. That will let you go, man. Go enjoy that pho or corn dog, whatever you got, buddy. And, uh, dudes, we'll see you back in after hours, main trading room. If you yep. guys have any Thanks, guys. Questions, Good night. Guys, any questions about joining, man, I'm telling you, just hit my line. I'll help you out. I'll get you started. If you lost $200 today, you just lost the, the most purest education you could ever get in trading, man. I'm, I'm dead serious when I say that. And if you don't believe me, just listen to the members, man. Go to our testimonials page. We're starting a revolution here. We've been doing it for three years, and we're not stopping anytime soon, man. This is only going to get bigger and better. But if you need help, text my line. All right, guys. Catch you later. Catch you next week. You guys are awesome. I think Woody's probably tanning right now. But uh, I have no idea, man. So we'll do the damn thing next week, and uh, we'll see you guys back in the room.